everybody, my name is Dr. Michael Wall. I'm curator of entomology at the Nat, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about one of my favorite groups of insects, and that's butterflies. In San Diego, we're really lucky. We got a lot of species of butterflies. There's over 153 different species have been recorded from San Diego County, and upwards of 140 of those are sort of here year round, or what we call resident species. And that's a lot uh, of species that are out there. And three of those are found only in San Diego County, and that includes the Laguna Mountain Skipper, the Thorns Hair Streak, and Hermes Copper. But in addition to those three that are only found here, we got a lot of other species that are uh, maybe a little bit more widespread, but just as sort of rare in terms of abundance or, or their population numbers. And and have uh, sort of threatened or endangered status on state or federal lists. And those include the uh, things like the Kino checker spot, which might be a little bit familiar to people, or the wandering skipper, which we would only find around uh, estuaries along the coast. A lot of people love butterflies and might want to go out and try to find them on their own. And really all you need is uh, an inquisitive mind and maybe a set of binoculars. Uh, and then you got to find a place where you might find butterflies. And that could be your backyard, uh, around your neighborhood, maybe in a local park, or maybe in one of our urban canyons, cruising around, looking for butterflies, see how many you can count. But I got a couple tips for you in order to maybe increase the likelihood that you see some. One is to slow your roll, okay? Uh, if you're moving really fast and then one, you're probably just not going to see things that are hiding out maybe a little bit. You know, slow down, take a look around, see what you can see. But also, if you're running too fast, you might scare stuff off too. So before you even get a chance to see it, it's taking flight and it's, it's gone and out of the picture. Next thing you're going to want to do is look for flowers. Uh, the adults of butterflies, they drink nectar, so sugary nectar from flowers. So it's good to find good nectar plants, and, and those vary. Uh, some, some flowers aren't necessarily good nectar plants, and others are good nectar plants. You just have to look around and see where you can find activity and, and target those. Stick around for a while. Don't give up if you don't see a butterfly right away, because one might come around. Then the other thing you're going to do is if you're searching for specific types of butterflies, then you're going to want to learn more about them, right? You're going to want to find out, like, what do their caterpillars eat and what type of habitat do they like to live in? If you're a Sonoran blue butterfly, then that means you only, uh, your caterpillars are only going to be eating Dudleyas over in the desert. So I'm not going to find them here in coastal San Diego where I am today. But if I'm looking for, like, a morning cloak that likes uh, the caterpillars like willow trees and stuff like that, I'm going to find a, want to find an area that's got a little bit of moisture in the soil where willow trees can grow to increase my odds of seeing those. So learn a little bit about them and, and target them uh, for the right time of year. Try to find their host plants. You know, just increase your odds of maybe seeing the butterflies that you're out to see. So I'm not going to lie to you. You can go out on a butterfly hunt and you can follow all three of my tips to increase your odds to see some. You might just not see any. I was just out for an hour searching in my neighborhood and all I found was this one species of checkered white. But I saw lots of other cool stuff. I saw a rattlesnake. I saw this fly that parasitizes rodents and rabbits called a bot fly. That blew my mind. And then lots of other birds and insects just cruising around. There's a, there's a lot of nature out there to explore while you're searching for butterflies. I'm going to lie to you just a second ago, but I straight up lied to you at the very beginning of the video because actually butterflies aren't one of my favorite groups of insects. Uh, they're fine. They're showy. I understand why people like them. Uh, but there's a lot of other diversity out there. We can even just look butterfly adjacent and think about moths, right? There's, uh, for every species of butterfly in San Diego County, there's 10 species of moths. So if you do the math from those numbers I told you earlier, we're talking like 1,400 to 1,500 species of just moths, which is kind of bonkers. And then you multiply that out times all the beetles and flies and wasps and bees and all that sort of jazz. And we got a lot of, a lot of insect diversity out there to appreciate. So... When you're out there on your butterfly scavenger hunt, I encourage you to 
look for all sorts of things and see what you can find. Post pictures on iNaturalist if that floats your boat. Or just enjoy it.